The world of audiovisual is full of acronyms in serious need of deciphering. Two of the most common being ADCs and DACs, or DACs. The How To AV team is here to translate. ADCs and DACs, let's start by translating them into real words. And then we'll move on to explaining exactly what they do. ADC stands for Analog to Digital Converter. And conversely, DAC or DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter. And in the world of AV, the signal we're converting with an ADC or a DAC is audio. Both devices do exactly what they say on the tin. Why might we need to use them? As an existing commercial AV or home entertainment system develops over time, the addition or replacement of certain component devices can result in a mixture and a mismatch of both analog and digital devices. For instance, the vast majority of audio amplifiers, from commercial PA amplifiers to high-end hi-fi amplifiers, will use traditional analog technology due to the pure, uncompressed sound it's going to produce. And if your audio system features older technology devices, such as a turntable or cassette deck, for instance, then they're most likely to be analog. However, latest generation AV devices, the Blu-ray player, MP3, Sky TV, and streaming devices, for example, are all digital. So if you're looking to integrate an analog signal into a digital AV system, you're going to need an ADC, or Analog to Digital Converter. And if you need to insert a digital signal into an analog system, the DAC, or Digital to Analog Converter, is the solution. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave your comments and even more questions for the team in the comments section below. Join us again soon here at howtoav.tv as we make understanding AV as clear as the picture on an Ultra HD television.